Hey everybody, I got something I'll show you real quick. I'm sure you're all having some crazy weather. Check this out. Look at that. Yesterday. Yesterday, less than almost about 20, 26 hours ago, it was 65 degrees. We had five and a half inches of snow and it is about 15 degrees. It's supposed to get really cold too. But um, something I want to share with you is we went hunting. It was so, it was the sun was out and it was pretty earlier today. So me and a buddy, I said, let's go. It's the last day of muzzleloader. I said, I'll push deer for you. And uh, see if you can't bang one, you know, what the hell. It's nice out. And uh, I don't know how much of that story I told, but where we were hunting, wood piles getting low, but where we were hunting, we had my dad out there on the first weekend of deer season and he hit a buck. That was the first buck he shot at in, it's a long time, I, it's 15 years or better. You know, he's had his chances, just never can really get a shot off or whatever, but he's just happy to get out. He doesn't mind if he gets a deer, but he actually hit one this year and didn't hit it real good. Uh, we couldn't figure out if he grazed it or what he did to it, but where we hunt, part of me wanted to go back and check and look you know we looked a lot that day and we just lost blood and actually saw it again and it didn't look hurt at all but what happened we had this real cold spell sorry if the camera's shaking because i'm shaking we had this real cold spell and uh i was pushing these deer and where that buck comes from there's a section of woods that kind of got them figured out i know where they go know where they bed know what they do i'm no deer master buck master whatever you want to call it just something you know hunted there a lot i kind of know what the deer do um, I said, I'm going to push that bedding area. I walked down that bedding area and son of a gun, there it laid. I could not believe it. But I'm guessing wherever he hit that deer, now this deer's probably been only dead about two weeks. Three weeks, I'd say. Because what you see right there, what you can see, that's all that was left. There was bones and some fur. Uh, There's only two legs. The rest got drug off. You know, the coyotes, you could see where they were like chewing and scratching at the face of it. But uh, we're thinking my old man hit that deer, he either grazed it high or he like got it, you know, the way it was running, he got it like up under here in between where the shoulder and the rib cage and didn't do any damage, but just muscle tissue. So I'm thinking in that cold weather, we, um, you know, that cold weather just slowed that deer down and uh, it was able you know the coyotes were able to get at it you know what i mean they were able to run it down because that's clearly what i think killed it but it definitely is the one he shot at um we know because he recognized this side and this goofy thing here i mean you can see there's still blood that's how fresh this thing is i mean it, it's not old it's three weeks old so i i'm guessing he hit it in the cold snap that we had you know terrible cold weather is what brought it down but Nice deer, real mature deer, old deer, older deer, three, three years, maybe four. And a real kick in the junk that we didn't find it that day. That would have been a heck of a day, but, but we still found it. And he still, he still says, ah, I didn't kill that deer, but in a way you kind of did, you know, if you hadn't shot at it, wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened the way it did. But I guess, you know, coyotes and all that got to eat too. I'm just happy and that we found it. Thought that was a pretty cool story. And the chances that I walked where I, you know, yeah, it's a bedding area and it's big, you know. So it could be anywhere. But I just happened to walk down and I walked that son of a gun. That's that's a skeleton of a, you know, that's a rib cage. And we had a lot of that EHD stuff. And I thought, didn't think anything of it. Maybe it was just a deer that died and it's been there. When I got up and saw how fresh it was and like kicked a piece of hide over and saw the horns, I was like, holy crap. So I called my dad and I said, explain to me this deer you shot at. I, I know you told me before, but I don't really remember. I'm going to take my boots off over here. I'm tracking stuff all through the house. Um, I said, explain to it. And he explained it. And I'm sitting there looking at it. And I said, son of a gun. That's the same one. And I called my brother. And I, you know, I said, hey, you explain to me you know, what dad's deer looked like when you jumped it. And he explained it to me. And uh, I said, you ain't never going to believe this. But I found it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think that's pretty something pretty neat to share with you guys. Other than that, 
No news on the loader stuff. Mm, still looking. Uh, shame because I've got awesome weather. The guy, me and the guy I work with think we might have figured something out. I uh, might have one that I can maybe borrow for a little while until I figure something out because he might be going a different route with the chip and crew stuff and they might be getting something different. So might have something I'll be able to use. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, positive. Still definitely going to look for my own. I think I want to start owning some equipment. Maybe I don't, maybe I do. I work on it all now. So might as well make a payment on it also, and then it can be my own. So we'll see. I don't have wife or kids or girlfriends, so not that I don't want that, but if I'm going to start expanding, now would probably be a good time, huh? You know, I don't have other people relying on me. So we'll see what happens. Everybody, stay warm, stay safe, have fun, enjoy life. That's what it's there for.